Hi, I'm Tanya and welcome to my short Ashtanga class. So we're going to begin in a comfortable seated position. So cross-legged or whatever feels best. And we're going to begin with breath work because through our asanas, our breath work is what carries us. It boils the blood and this breath work is actually in and out of your nose. But as we practice, we're going to start with breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're going to fill the lungs. So sit up straight, place your arms on your knees, close your eyes, and breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time. In through the nose. One, two, three, and out through the mouth. Now we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. Ready? One, two, three, and out through the nose. So this is deep breathing with sound. So if you're not sure if you're doing it right, put your hands on the bottom of your rib cage. Breathe in and feel, fill the lungs. And out through the nose. So the back of your throat is open and it should make a gentle snore. And if you want to practice, you can put your hand in front of your face near your nose area, and it should be like you're fogging a mirror. So breathe in. And out. So you see, it sounds like the sounds of waves. So one more time, in. And out. Now, come onto your hands and knees, and we're gonna just do a few cat cows to, to get relaxed. Ready? In. And out. Suck your belly in. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in. And out. Now curl your toes under and slowly come up to your first downward dog. You're just going to pump your heels a little and then walk your feet towards your hands. So now you should be at the front of your mat. Roll on up slowly. So we're going to begin in Samastitihi, and we will do a few sun salutations. So those are Surya Namaskar A's. So hands to the side, stand up straight, palms up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, head to knees, straight legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back. You're in high plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold here for five breaths. Relax your neck. Try to straighten your legs. Put the weight in your palms. Breathing for five. Four. Breathing for three. Two. And with your last exhale, look forward and step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Stand up, palms together. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, Samastitihi. One more Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, palms together. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, head to knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold here for five breaths. Breathing for five, four. Try to elongate your spine. Your drishti is your navel. Navel, sorry. Three, two. Breathing for one. With your last exhale, look forward. Step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. 
stand up, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, Samasthitihi. Now we will do Surya Namaskar B. Bend the knees, palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, head to knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back, lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot forward, pivot your left, Vira Bhajasana. Palms together, look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Hands on either side of your foot, step or jump back. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, pivot your right. Palms together, look at your thumbs. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold here for five breaths. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Look forward, step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees. Palms up. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, Samasthitihi. Last Surya Namaskar B. Bend the knees. Palms up. Look at your thumbs. Fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot forward. Pivot your left. Palms up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, back down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, pivot your right. Palms up, look at your thumbs. Back down for Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathing here for five. Try to get your heels to touch the floor as much as possible. Breathing for four. Keep looking at your navel area. Three. Two. And one. Look forward, step or jump your feet between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees. Palms up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, Samasthitihi. Now I'm going to face you, and we're going to do Parangustasana. Uh, Parangustasana. So step, step or jump your feet hip width apart. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Grab your big toes. So for Parangustasana, you're going to inhale, look up like you're doing cat cow. Exhale, fold forward. Head between the knees, belly to the thighs. Relax the neck, shake your head yes and no. Breathe here for five. Breathing for four. Breathing for three. Two. And one. Inhale, look up, hold the toes. Put your hands below your feet so your toes are touching your wrists. This is a really good exercise for your wrist for all those sun salutations. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward and pull. Try to straighten your legs. Drishti is your nose. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release the hands. Stand all the way up and come to the top of your mat. Now we're going to do Utita Trikonasana. Step out with your right foot. Your right toe should be pointing to the back of your mat. Hands are out. You're going to lean over your right foot and slowly slide your hand down your foot. Either grab your shin or if you're able to grab your big toe. Legs are straight. Left hand goes up towards the sky. Your drishti is your left hand. And look up, breathing here for five. Breathing for four. Three. Two. And 
and one, rise up. Now we're gonna do Utita Trikonasana on the left side. Lean over your left side, slowly bring your hand down your leg, grab your shin if you're able to, or grab your big toe. Look up to your right hand that's pointed towards the sky, breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Rise up. Now, point your right toes to the back of the mat. Bring your left hand up next to your ear and fold forward. So your left hand comes near your right big toe or if you're able to, jump it to your pinky toe side. Right hand is pointing up towards the sky for Parvrita Trikonasana. Look at your right palm, breathing for five, Four, three, two, and one. Pinwheel it up. Left toes point to the front of the mat. Right heel is aligned with your left heel. Right hand comes up next to your ear. Inhale it up. Exhale, fold forward. Right hand either comes next to your big toe or you can jump it to your pinky toe side. Left hand points up towards the sky. Look at your left hand, that's your drishti. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Pinwheel it up. Back to samastitihi at the top of your mat. Now, we're going to step out with our right foot in a wide step, almost as far as your hands. And we're going to do prasarita padottanasana. So place your hands on your waist. Inhale, look up. Take a nice back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Grab your big toes. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. And your goal is to keep trying to straighten your legs as much as possible. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Crown of your head should touch the floor one day. Three, two, and one. Inhale, look up, hold the toes. Place your hands back on your waist. Stand up, inhale. Come back to Samastitihi, exhale. Now, we're gonna do Parsvottanasana. It's either grab your elbows behind your back. If you're not able to, I mean, if you are able to, you can also try reverse prayer. So there's either this or this. So once you're in your position with your hands, take a step back with your right foot. Align your heels. Left heel should be aligned with your right heel. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Align your spine with your right leg as much as possible. Feet, legs are straight. Chin to shin if possible or head to knee. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale it up, keep your hands where they are. Slowly turn your left toes to the front of the mat. Align your left heel with your right heel. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Belly to thigh, chin to shin, legs are straight. Breathing for five. Breathing for four. Three. Two. And one. Inhale it up, release the arms. Back to Samastitihi. Now, we're going to go straight into Utita Hasta Parangustasana. If you need to stagger where you're standing, that's okay. If you're close to each other, put your left hand on your left hip. And what you're going to do is either grab your right knee, as this is a balancing pose, or grab your right big toe and extend. And if you're able to, chin to shin. We're going to hold here for five, four, breathing for three, two, and one. Inhale it up, take it to the right, look to your left if possible, 
Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Release the toe, hold your foot parallel to the floor, right hand comes back to your hip. Breathing for five. Look at your toes if needed. Four, three, two, a little higher, and one, lower down. Now, bring the weight of your body into your right leg, right hand on your right hip. Either hold your left knee, or if you're able to grab your big toe, lift, extend, chin to shin if possible, breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your leg to the left, look to your right, breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your leg back to center. Release the toe, hold your foot parallel to the floor, left hand on your hip, breathing for five, four, three, a little higher, two, and one, lower down. So next we will go straight into Ardha Baddha Padmottanasana. You're either going to bring your right foot up into tree pose, and you can balance here, but if you are able to, you're going to bring it into a half lotus. So you could just stand here and stay here, or you can go into the full bind. Lift your right hand up, hold the foot with your left hand, wrap it around your back. So you are holding your big toe with your right hand, just wrapped around your back. Go into full expression if you're able to and fold forward. The left hand touches the ground next to your left foot like another foot. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. We'll go to the left side now. Either bring it into tree pose or half lotus. If you're able to do the full bind, hold the foot with your right hand, bring your left hand around your back, grab your big toe, and fold for full expression. Right hand goes down to the floor. Breathing for five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Come back to the top of your mat, Samastiti He. Inhale, hands, palms together. Look at your thumbs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump back. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Jump through to a seated position. So now we are done with the standing poses. We're going to go into the seated poses. Straighten your legs. And this is actually an alignment pose. So there should be no pain or strain or anything going on. What you're going to do is bring your hand next to your sits bones. Straighten your back. Look up. And all you're going to do is lower your chin down. And you're going to practice that breathing we were talking about in the beginning. Make sure your toes are flexed and breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. So once we finish Dandasana, we're going to go straight into Paschimottanasana. Grab your big toes. Legs are straight. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward and pull on those big toes. Try to keep your legs straight. Try to see if, how far you can fold if you can get your head to your knees. Breathing for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, look up. Wrap your hands around your feet or grab the sides of your feet, whichever is easier. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward like you're a ham sandwich or a panini. Your goal is to just stretch as much as possible into your legs, breathing for five, four. This should be the deepest stretch of your day, three, 
two, one. Inhale, look up and take your vinyasa. Cross your legs, place your hands down, step or jump back, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Come back through to a seated position. So now we're going to do Purvottanasana. So if you're unable to do this, you can go straight into a tabletop position or and your back, your neck would go back. But if you are able to, we're going to do full expression with Purvottanasana. Your hands are about six inches behind your sits bones. Your toes are together, and you're going to try to point your toes in this position. What you're going to do is lift your whole body up like a balloon. So remember, the, the fingers are pointing towards your sits bones, and you're going to lift everything up like a balloon and look back, breathing for five, four, keep your toes together, three, keep lifting, two, and one, lower down, take your vinyasa, cross, lift up, step or jump back, lower down, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, come back through to a seated position. So now we're going to do Janu Sursasana A. What we're going to do is straighten our left leg, bring our right toes, touching almost your thigh area. Pull your leg back to 90 degrees. And you're gonna reach up, grab your left wrist, fold forward. Try to get those hands around your left foot and stretch. Keep trying to bring your right sits bone down. Either head to knee or chin to shin. Breathing for five. You should feel that stretch along the right side of your body. Four, three, Two, and one. Inhale, look up. Take your vinyasa. Step or jump back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Jump back through to seated position. Now, straighten your right leg. Left leg comes in to your right thigh. Bring your foot back to 90 degrees. Hands up. Grab your right wrist, fold forward as you exhale. Keep your left sits bone down, breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale up, take your vinyasa. Step or jump back, lower down chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale, down dog. Come through to a seated position. We're going to do Mariachas, 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 C. So what we're going to do is straighten the left leg, bring the right foot as close to your sits bone, your right sits bone. There should be about two fists between your leg and your right foot. And you're going to place your right hand Behind your right sits bone, left hand comes up, and you're either going to twist, or if you're able to, you will do the full expression. Your left foot should stay active and flexed. And if you're able to, reach, wrap, and bind. Look over your right shoulder. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Take your vinyasa. Step or jump back. Lower down chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Come back through to a seated position. We're going to do the left side. So straighten your right leg. Bring your right foot close to your left sits. I mean your left foot close to your left sits bone. Make sure there are two fist sizes in between. Place your left hand behind your left sits bone, right hand comes up, and either twist, if you're able to, reach, wrap, and bind. Right foot remains flexed. Look over your left shoulder, sit up straight. Breathing for five. So this twist is very good for your digestion. Breathing for four, three, 
two, and one. Take your vinyasa. Step or jump back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now, come back through to a seated position. Straighten your legs. Bird Badanarasana. So, this is upward bow pose. Slowly roll down. We have a few options for this. So, you can either bend your knees, bring the bottoms of your feet close to your sits bones, and you can lift up and bind your hands under, or if you are able to, keep your feet here where they are, bring your hands next to your shoulders, and what you're going to do is you're going to inhale and lift up. And we're going to hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down. If you're all the way up, you can lower to the crown of your head. Walk it in. We're going to go back up. Ready? Up. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. If you're all the way up, come back to the crown of your head. Walk it in and go back up again. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lower down. Straighten your legs. We're going to roll up slowly. And what we're going to do is wrap our hands around the bottoms of our feet for Paschimottanasana one more time. Fold forward for 10 breaths. Breathing for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep folding. 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Take your vinyasa. Place your hands down, step or jump back. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Come back through to a seated position. Straighten the legs for Salamba Sarvangasana. So that is shoulder stand. Slowly lower down to your back. You can either lift your legs straight up and just leave them here. Or if you are able to, you are able to lift your legs up, go straight into a shoulder stand, align your arms with your shoulders, and do not put a lot of weight in your neck. Breathing for 10, three, keep staring at your toes, pointed two, and one. Bring your toes above your head if you're able to. Straight legs. Toes touch the floor behind you. Interlace your hands below you. And we're going to do halasana. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your hands where they are. Bring your heels together. Bend your knees for karna padasana. Ear pressure posture. Breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release, legs in the air, and we're gonna go into happy baby pose. So, balasana, what you're gonna do is either grab your feet on the inside or out and rock back and forth. We're gonna slowly come back to our breath work and for Shavasana, we will relax at the end of this class. So what you can do now is bring your feet together, bring them down to the floor, get in a comfortable position. Make sure your legs are in a good place, your back is on the floor, shoulders relaxed, place one hand on your stomach. Place one hand on your chest, and we're going to practice our breathing. Breathe into the tummy, out through the tummy. Breathe into the chest, 
out through the chest. Close your eyes if you want to relax. Breathe into the tummy. Out through the tummy. Breathe in through the chest. Out through the chest. Into the tummy. Out through the chest. Now when you're ready, straighten your legs. Bring your hands next to your side, palms facing up. We're going to enter Shavasana. So begin relaxing your toes. Feel the weight of your legs as they become one with your mat. Relax your hips. Relax your fingers. Soften your shoulders. Relax your neck. Soften your face and your forehead. Picture that third eye between your brows at your forehead. Picture a light coming out of it. And continue breathing. Let your heart and your mind be light and free. And just enjoy the moment. And if your mind wanders, just bring it back. Slowly bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Shake your head from side to side. Raise your arms above your head like it's your first morning stretch. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Rock from side to side when you're ready. And then roll to one side and use your hands as a pillow. Now place your left hand or right hand down to help push yourself slowly up to a comfortable seated position. We're going to end with a mantra, bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes. We will do call and repeat. It will begin with Om and it will end with Om. And in between, I will guide you. So breathe in. Om. Vasti Prajabhyaha. Pari palayantam, Nayena margena, Mahim mahishaha, Gobra mane biaha, Shuba nastu nicham, Lokaha samastaha. Suki no bhavantu. Now breathe in for Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your yoga practice with me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.